Christy Code Red, author, entrepreneur, retired professional boxer, and in today's video, this might be a question you keep asking yourself over and over, Christy, or you wouldn't be asking yourself, Christy, but you might be asking me, Christy, why do I keep craving comfort foods? And oh man, I mean, you know, it's happening again. That craving for your favorite comfort food. I mean, I know you feel me on this. When you're eating in a healthy way that you enjoy, comfort food cravings can hit out of nowhere, especially when you're stressed or exhausted or you're anxious. So what the heck is going on? The reason we crave comfort food is actually pretty simple. You're worked up in some way. (coughs) Sorry about that. And you don't feel... You, you don't want to feel the way you feel. So you turn to comfort foods to numb the feelings. It's, it's simple, isn't it? See, digestion takes up two thirds of the body's energy, which means that when you're digesting food, your body temporarily has fewer resources to spend on feeling your feelings. Eating is a way to get relief from emotions that you just don't want to feel. It could be anything from stress to anxiety, to depression, to anger, to not feeling safe. It's really not a surprise if you think about it. Annoying, of course, but really not a surprise. From the time that we're born, we're either given our mother's milk or formula. We're taught to find comfort food. So when life gets challenging, and it always does, make no mistake about it, and we haven't developed a healthy non-food way to deal with these challenges, well, food is a convenient go-to that we use to comfort ourselves. Comfort foods in particular are tempting uh, because they give you this heavy, relaxed feeling to offset the emotions that could be hard to deal with, like stress, anxiety, fear. The thing is, staying on track with your weight loss um, sooner or later. I mean, it involves getting better at both feeling your feelings and processing them in a healthy non-food way. So it's really important to get good, healthy non-food ways to cope with your emotions that you're comfortable with, both so you can stay on track and because it's just better for you mentally and physically than eating crap, getting drunk, getting high, smoking, what other, whatever other vices that people have that they use to cope. What you do to cope in healthy ways depends on what works best for you. But involving your body is a great option. You could get a massage. You could take an Epsom salt bath. uh, You could dry brush. You could go on a relaxing walk or you could do some gentle yoga. Remember, we don't have to do exercise to lose weight. We don't believe in that. But a walk or yoga could be a way to process and calm down without using comfort foods. You could also return to a hobby like stretching or coloring or sketching or crochet or jewelry making or whatever you enjoy and let that comfort you. I mean, I don't have the patience for meditation. I'm really trying and I'm not really good at it, Um, but there are people who do and Maybe you're one of them. So give that a try and see if that helps. There are plenty of apps with calming music and sounds out there that you can listen to. Plenty of help out there. If you're spiritual, maybe you can pray. Maybe you can study your Bible and listen to sermons from people that you like. That's an option. I also highly recommend getting a handle on your emotional eating triggers because when you know what they are, you can get ahead of them. The What's Eating You online course I offer will teach you exactly how to do this. And you can check that out at coderedlifestyle.com forward slash what's eating you. But the bottom line is that craving food is just your body wanting relief from being hyped up. Calm down, but calm down in a healthy way, a non-food healthy way, And it'll be much easier to control the cravings for comfort foods. They may even go away entirely. All right. Thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you on the next video.